Magandang araw mga ka-aerial defense may ibabahagi na naman ako sa inyo dahil ngayong araw na ito ay may bagay tayong pag-uusapan. National Security Council ng Pilipinas pumalag sa China. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy wag mo muna kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe. Paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link. Mariing tinuligsa ng National Security Council ang naging pahayag ng China na kumukwestyon sa pagpasok ng mga tropa ng Pilipinas sa West Philippine Sea. Ito ay kasunod ng mga claims ng China patungkol sa umano'y ilegal na pagdaong ng barko ng Pilipinas sa Ayungin Shoal kung saan nakasadsad ang BRP Sierra Madre. Ayon kay National Security Council Assistant Director General Jonathan Malaya, walang ilegal sa ginagawang rotation and resupply mission ng Armed Forces of the Philippines at Philippine Coast Guard sa mga tropang nakabase sa iba't ibang bahagi ng West Philippine Sea, bukod dito ay pinabulaanan din niya sinabi ng China na mayroon umano itong tinaboy na barko ng PCG na nagpapatrolya sa bahagi ng Bajo de Masinloc Shoal, kung maaalala, Una nang iniulat ng AFP na naging matagumpay at maituturing na flawless ang pinakahuling resupply mission ng Pilipinas para sa mga tropang nakabase sa BRP Sierra Madre sa Ayungin Shoal, hindi pa rin isinasara ng Department of Information and Communications Technology ang posibilidad na may kinalaman sa mga usapin sa West Philippine Sea, ang tangkang paghak sa ilang government sites ng Pilipinas, ito ayon kay DICT Secretary John Ivan Uy ay kahit pa nag-alok na ang China na tumulong sa ginagawang investigasyon ng Pilipinas, upang mapapanagot ng bansa ang mga nasa likod ng tangkang hakang na ito. So, sinabi ninyo nag-reach out ang China uh, dun sa recent uh, incident na may attempts to hack uh, I, I think government, sites. Yeah, government sites including that of Oh, wow. The President, yeah, OWA, the Philippine Coast Guard. Does that rule out the suspicion that this has anything to do with this, the South China Sea conflict dispute? Well, that's not for us to to come out with that conclusion yet, no? It's too early, but um, anything is possible. So uh, we just need to, I think, uh, uh, currently take it as faith, at face value and see how how things develop. Uh, you know, uh, in 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 cyber investigations and in um, analyzing all of this, we never rule out anything. Um, everything is in the, in the realm of the possible. So, but um, uh, we are we we always maintain an open arms. Um, anyone who wants to cooperate, uh, you know, we don't reject. Um, those um, offers um, and then uh, see where we go from there. Then sir, uh, based po dun sa initial investigation po natin, um, China-based po itong uh, recent attempt ng hacking, meron po ba tayo or makikipag-ugnayan po ba tayo sa China to help us prosecute them? Yes, actually um, they, they have reached out uh, to, to ask if uh, we, we can do some cooperation dahil um, it's it's actually uh, both ways no uh, cooperation has to come um, uh, you know as a mutual um, activity so so um, they are willing to help they they have mentioned that um, if we can share with them um, kung kung ano yung nangyari um, para mahanap mahanap daw nila kung saan at sino yung Gumawa uh, in in the Philippines, we're also arresting um, quite a few. Um, if you would recall, nung nagraid kami ng isang um, scam center sa may Pasay, uh, where we arrested uh, 600 individuals. Out of the 600, 200 of them were Chinese. And nung nahuli namin at nakita namin yung mga computers nila ang mga binibiktima nila ay mga citizens rin ng China at mga residents ng Hong Kong, ng Taiwan, ng Singapore, all Mandarin-speaking countries. Eh, tinatarget rin nila uh, for their scams. So, ganun, no? So, na-detect, uh, na nahuli namin yun at yun rin, no? Gusto rin ng China na once we prosecute these people, eventually, gusto nilang ma deport rin to their country so they can properly prosecute these people who are attacking their their citizens and compromising also their 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 um, cyber security so we we are open to working with everybody 
with everybody. Uh, these these um, actors, they 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 everywhere, no. Uh, for instance, yung yung um, yung ransomware attack uh, na nangyari sa sa PhilHealth, it was using the Medusa ransomware, which is actually based in Russia. So, marami mga ganitong criminal organizations, mga mercenaries, cyber hack, uh, hackers, na nagtatago sa iba-ibang mga bansa at uh, ginagamit ng kanilang mga talento sa masasamang paraan. So, importante po ang coordination among different countries um, to, to work together and um, go after these, these uh, groups. Good morning, Secretary. Sir, nabanggitin po ba dun sa sectoral meeting yung recent attempt po ng uh, hacking attempts sa OWA and din sa workspace po ng uh, ilang government offices? Ano po kaya naging directive ni Pangulo Marcos? Well, um, th that has been ongoing, uh, you know, since since uh, e even before we, we came into office. No? Uh, we've been monitoring uh, regular um, probing, regular threats, um, coming from all sectors, uh, from criminal organizations uh, and, and um, many threat actors uh, um, in the world. So we, we take those things very seriously. And um, we, we actually have um, um, built up more um, competencies in uh, detecting um, early early on um, any of those attempts to hack into not just government systems but also uh, um, private corporations. Um, there have been some private institutions that were also compromised um, via ransomware. Um, the most, uh, in the government, I think the, the, the one that has attracted most attention was the field health ransomware attack. So. The directive of the president uh, has remained the same, that we need to be vigilant and we need to be always uh, on guard in, in protecting our cyber security infrastructure. However, this is not a, a single person or a single agency's responsibility. We have to take it as a whole, not just a whole of government approach, but a whole of nation approach because the responsibility to protecting our cyber borders does not only lie with the ICT or with the, with the defense, but with each and every Filipino um, to, to be more vigilant and to be um, uh, more aware um, of any of these attempts. Sa press briefing sa Malacanang, sinabi ng opisyal na masyado pang maaga upang magkaroon ng conclusion para dito, Gayun paman, nananatili pa rin aniya ang posibilidad ng lahat ng angulo, paliwanag ng kalihim, sa ginagawa nilang investigasyon lahat ng posibleng rason sa tangkang hakang ay kanilang kinokonsidera, gayon din ang tulong mula sa ibang bansa, na nais tumulong sa ginagawang investigasyon ng Pilipinas, sisiguruhin ng Administrasyong Marcos na nakikipagsabayan ang cyber security posture ng Pilipinas sa ibang mga bansa, Pahayag ito ni DICT Secretary Ivan John Uy makaraang elatag kay Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Ang National Cyber Security Plan mula 2024 hanggang 2028, sinabi ng kalihim na lalamanin ng komprehensibong plano na ito ang pagdevelop ng magandang policy at pagtukoy sa cyber assets at infrastructure na kailangang protektahan. Pinaiigting rin aniya nila ang malawakang training at capacity building para sa cyber security at AI, sa digital workforce ng Pilipinas, palalakasin rin aniya ang koordinasyon ng pamahalaan sa ibang bansa, para sa advanced threat assessment, at upang makakuha ng impormasyon sa international partners ng Pilipinas, kaugnay sa insidente ng hakang sa kanilang bansa. Sa ganitong paraan, agad na maabisuhan ng gobyerno ang mga kinauukulang tanggapan nito, banko, at iba pang organisasyon sa Pilipinas na posible ring targetan ng hackers na una nang nagtangka sa ibang bansa. So uh, we we presented the national cybersecurity plan uh, to the president. This was um, you know more than a year in the making, and um, it actually um, is a very comprehensive plan uh, covering the year 2024 to 2028. So the national cybersecurity plan is um, well, it's it's a document that uh, provides uh, direction, policy direction, as well as operational. Um, um, guidelines um, on how to uh, build up 
our cybersecurity um, posture um, vis-a-vis uh, the rest of the world. And uh, this document was uh, arrived at in consultation with all the different stakeholders, both in the public, private sector, as well as the academe. Um, then uh, we also um, um, compared it with the cybersecurity plans of all the other countries um, to see where uh, the, the, the thrust has been uh, in terms of addressing the increasing uh, cyber threat. Para sa mas madaming update tungkol sa ating defense abangan lamang ang aking mga bagong video, para naman sa mga gusto magpa-shoutout mag-comment lamang po at share, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link, huwag mo na rin kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe, pindutin mo na rin ang bell para updated kayo sa aking mga video. Maraming salamat po.